Hey guys, so today we're going to look at the specific Hey guys, so today we're going to look at the specific data parts of XAMPP. Hey guys, so today we're going to look at the data specific parts of Zenla. So as you can see, as soon as we get to the dashboard, you can see all the headline figures and various stats here. So you've got leads, visitors, sales totals and whatnot. I'm just going to click reports here to get a more in-depth view. So first of all, let's look at course progress. So I'm going to click course progress here. And here we go. So this is giving you some basic overview. So 18% have completed, 37 are, are in progress, and 45 have not started. So given I've got that higher 45 percentage of people who haven't started, I might, for example, want to send them an email broadcast, but we'll cover that later. And you can always go and look at James Milo's email broadcasting course, which is free on Zenla. And then if I wanted more data, I can always click on run report. Uh, please, but there is a time-based data range, so uh, it's always best to go for all time unless you're specifically looking for something over the other periods of time. Now let's go on to quizzes, quizzes and surveys. So I use quizzes a lot in my courses uh, just because I want to have a look at how many people are doing, how well people are doing. So I'm going to again click all time by default and then I'm going to pick how to build a Lego Koi in 30 minutes and I'm going to run that report and see how many people have done things on my quizzes. So I've got one quiz in there, I've got nine people doing it and it's been completed by nine different people. So if I wanted to export that as a CSV, I always could uh, and do some pivot tables and other fancy Excel based magic. But I'm just gonna click on check your knowledge and check it from the Zenla platform. So as you can see, uh, no one has got 100%, so I might want to go and have a look at what questions people have got wrong. So let's just open a few of these details here in new tabs, and I will then go and have a look at them. Okay, so this person got question two wrong. This person got question two wrong. This person got question two wrong and this person got question two wrong. So I might want to go and have a look back at question two if everyone keeps failing it and either make it more clear on my course or reword the question depending on uh, various different things. But it's a good idea to check how your quizzes are doing just in case. And then let's move on to affiliates. So we've gone over affiliates previously and we just wanted to check. I've not got any affiliates here but you'll be able to check how many, how well your affiliates are overall doing. So affiliates are a good way of checking how this works. Uh, we're gonna go into more detail on this later on, um, but this is just another place to go and see the affiliates data. And then finally, let's have a look at sales. So as you can see, here's the top line headline figures I've made $1.49 this is a test account I, I was ho not hoping to retire on this um, but again let's move this down to all time and we will run report we'll group by course and well as you can see I've got four sales from my Lego former model like a pro four sales and I've made $1.49 from that I've earned one dollar and eleven cents and that's sales and then that's also how and that's how reports work in Zenla again if you wanted to have a look at a detailed report you can click here and it will give you a little bit more in depth um, there we go and then that gives you a nice idea of what you've done and what gateway people have used various things like that And that's how to look at reports in Zenla.